I thought I'd just do another short little video here uh, in continuation of my ultimate 8-bit uh, cartridge I had gotten yesterday. Um, before, earlier today, my earlier video, I had it playing my Atari 400. And it does look like any ROM that would fit in the constraints of the RAM available in the machine in the Atari 8-bit line will work. My Atari 400 had uh, 48K installed inside, so I was able to play quite a bit of the, uh, the 48K and 16K and all the ROM cartridges like Donkey Kong, Defender, Space Invaders, and so on. Dig Dug. Um, but I pulled out my Atari XE game system here, um, which is really what it was designed for, from my understanding. Uh, it's actually called the Ultimate ROM cartridge for 8-bit, but on the PCB board, it says XLXE game systems. So here it is plugged in, and you can see it is powered on. And this is the menu you get on the Ultimate cart. And the one I'm highlighting right now says A to Z of XEX games. Now, these here appear to be a multi-cartridges that were made. I don't know who made them, but these are uh, multiple games within a cartridge. So I'm going to go down to, let's say, let's go down to E. I press, uh, you select it with your joystick here and just press your button. So I'm going to pick E. And again, I apologize for the, uh, the video on this TV. Uh, this one does not have audio and video inputs. It's just standard composite. So I have this going through my little composite cable here all the way into this TV set. So anyway, so you can use up and down to go down one, or you can press left and right on your stick to go a whole uh, bunch. And uh, let's just pick something here. Let's say, uh, let's go to Galaxian. That's a that's a great game. So again, this is a, uh, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, fellas, I didn't create this cartridge. But let's see what we got here. And there you go. It's Atari Galaxian. So I'm going to press uh, good old start here. So we'll try another game. So if you get bored of this game, what you would do is you would go and press this reset button here on the ultimate cart, which basically causes the Atari itself to crash. And then you press your reset on your computer, and that'll get you back to your main menu. And we can just go back in and pick a different game. Let's go to H this time. And now we can pick a game from within here. Uh, let's see what we have here. Something that's good. Okay, Gremlins up there. Let's go up to Gremlins. I didn't see that. Uh, when did I just see Gremlins? Goonies, Gremlins. And there we go, fellas. So, um, I'm not sure if these are still being made anymore, to be honest. I, I know that... Um, let me reset this here for a second, just so we... The, uh, the gentleman who made it originally... Let's click here and here so we don't have so much noise going. Uh, his name is Robin, and he's made the original cartridge here. But he made it open source. And there's another gentleman on Atari H who made a batch. I'm not sure how many he's making. But in my video for my Atari 400, um, I have links to the two posts on Atari Age where you can try and see if you can get one. Um, I think it's a really good cartridge. I paid, uh, I believe, $65, or I'm sorry, 65 pounds, uh, and it includes shipping over to the States. And you do have to make your own cartridge. You know, I'm working on that. Um, but like on this particular machine, there's no flaps to hit it or anything like that. So, uh, again, guys, um, it's a neat little cartridge if you can get your hands on one. Uh, I'm enjoying it, and if you liked the video, please share and subscribe if you'd like, or ask any questions down below. I'll try and answer them, and uh, please, everyone, have a great night, and game on.